This is the green guy to Colm in Normandy. So I've managed to get the train down from Waterloo to Portsmouth Harbour. It's about a 12 minute cycle from here to the port. I'll be on the Brompton. And from there I'll be getting my overnight ferry all the way to Colm in Normandy. Unfortunately, there's no cabins left. I booked it fairly late in the day. I'm hoping that they might be able to do me a favor if there's a no-show. I'll be banking on that, otherwise I'll be, uh, I'll be in, the, in the chair. Yeah, I guess worst things will happen to see Evan next, so let's get going. Check it out. Woo, that is huge. Big boy. Damn, son. So the excellent news is that they got me a cabin. I was given a no-show cabin, so I get to go into room 7704. Got a nice sort of setup there. I'm pretty pleased with that, man. I'm gonna go check out what is on offer in the ship itself, see what's going on for dinner. Um, poops. See you in the morning. We have arrived. So now that we're here, I guess the rough plan is to, of course, uh, learn about the city's history, see some of the famous markets, eat great food and wine, no doubt about it, and just chat to local strangers, get their views on what I should see, drink, do in the city while I'm here. If you arrive by ferry, don't miss the year-round daily fish market at the Restaurant Harbour. At what time do you open? At 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Fish market, keep the river on your left and go straight. The Vela Francaise leads you all the way to Caen. It's a gorgeous route with a coffee house at the halfway point just by the historic Pegasus Bridge. Cafe Gondre is now run by Arlette, aka Madame Gondre. She asked not to film inside, but if you do visit, you'll find a cafe come museum with memorabilia from the Second World War. It also has postcards and a post box in which to send them. On June 6th, 1944, as a young girl, Arlette watched D-Day paratroopers pass by after capturing Pegasus Bridge. Their home, this cafe, was then the first French building liberated by Allied forces on D-Day itself. And she's still here to tell the tale. What would you recommend doing in Colm? You can go to the two cathedrals. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the old street. Uh, okay. On the top of the Rue Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. Such a sweet moment and, and, and character kind of reminds me of my own granny. So I wrote a little postcard to my granny actually. Onward we go towards Kong. Looks like we've made it. Welcome to Kong.
next on the list that Arlette recommended was Rue Ekia. Rue Ekia. Cool. That's where I'm going next. As instructed, here we have arrived at the top of Rue. Thank you, yeah. Let's go for a little wonder. Oh, look, there are some flowers, so let's go over there. Is there anywhere I can eat, like nearby, do you recommend somewhere to go? There, um, uh, this is called uh, take five. Take five. Only you know the juice. It's very, very uh, healthy. It's, uh, yes. Good. Love health. Health is good. But I don't know if it's open today. Take five. Closed. So we're gonna eat opposite instead. <laughs> After lunch, I was low on time, so I cycled to Zest Capad, a zero waste gîte, about 30 minutes from Central Corn by bike. My name is Isabel. I'm the owner of uh, a BND, which is uh, zero waste. I decided to choice the zero waste for the BNB and because I thought it was a good um, opportunity for people to try this special way of life. In the BNB, for example, I gave a little soap, a little shampoo and uh, some things for women and babies. What I propose is um, Kits for picnic in the BNB. There's bags and box people can uh, take for go to the baker or the butcher. And lots of people came, but there's people uh, who don't know zero waste. They are not interesting. It's it's real. Uh, but most of them tell me that uh, it's a good inspiration. Um, since one or two years, I have regularly people come because it's zero waste. Uh, I had uh, two person from Germany who comes one month ago because it was zero waste. So it's okay, I'm really happy. <laughs> when I decided to have a BNB, I knew my house isn't in the very nice village. It's reality. My house is near the road. Well, so I thought it was important to offer uh, something special. And uh, I was in zero waste way of life and I thought it could be a good idea to propose this. I don't want to be the Ayatollah of <laughs> zero waste. I don't. I just want to propose and uh, people take what they want. Honestly Isabel, when I came here and I saw that bathroom, the hourglass idea, instantly I was like wow that's such a good idea. Anyone can do it. Yes. You know, anyone can do it.
So I'm thoroughly impressed with the market at Place uh, Sans I think it's called. We've got some really good characters, friendly people, boulangerie, charcuteries. Uh, we've got books, you've got chairs, fresh fruit, vegetables, and uh, I would say well worth a visit. I'll pop my butt while I go to the bathroom. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks. No Appreciate that. Are you from around here? Yeah, definitely. I've been living around here. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Mate, what would you recommend if someone was coming here for the weekend? What would you say, like, one thing they had to try? Kayaks. Kayaking? Okay, what is that along the river? Yeah, along the river. Huh? Charlo, thank you, man. So, if you you were saying that you could um, give me a tip, a restaurant, your favorite one in town, where am I going? My uh, favorite restaurant is Cafe Marcel. Just right, here. just there. Yes. Very impressed with that meal. Excellent choice, shallow, and a great recommendation. And as for tip number two, corn castle. I found Laurent and Caroline, they've been really kind and they're going to give me their time and hopefully give me a local tip of, of where to go for dinner. Mm. I definitely recommend uh, Nelson if you are looking for vegan food because they are friends of mine also. <laughs> okay. Have a lovely day, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sons has a quirky, whimsical atmosphere and energy. Great foods, fun staff, excellent decor. 10 out of 10, would recommend. I think next we're going to what's that bar the Charlo recommended. Le Bercaille. Bercaille? I think Le Bercaille. Yeah, <laughs> there go, try and find it. The Bacay had a fun vibe with a little extension by the harbour too, but the party didn't start until much later, so I couldn't hang around and had to cycle back before dark. Hola, ¿Qué pasa, amigos? Had a wonderful stay here at Zest Capad. You've got a beautiful garden, spacious interiors, and for me anyway, the most important aspect when you're staying at BNB is the hospitality. Isabel is a generous host, very kind, made me feel so welcome. We even shared a breakfast this morning. I honestly can't wait to return, but for me, I've got to get back on the bike now to get the ferry home, and um, yeah, I'm running a bit late, so let's go. to conclude thank you to everyone that helped me discover new sites places experiences in their city um, I love the freedom of cycling everywhere you just feel really awesome when you get to your destination that's it peace out thank you for watching and set you as I say <laughs>